The English Longitudinal Study of Aging, also known as ELSA, is an ongoing survey developed to document the experience of growing old in England in the 21st century. The study is funded by the National Institute on Aging in the USA and several UK government departments. ELSA is a multidisciplinary cohort study that features an extensive range of data from a representative sample of men and women living in England who are aged 50 and over. ELSA started in 2002 and participants are interviewed every two years. The sample is also periodically refreshed to maintain its representativeness of all individuals aged 50 and over in England. The main objective of this study is to understand the complex dynamics of the aging process. This is made possible in ELSA through the repeated measures of economic and family circumstances, behaviour, lifestyle, social connections, and biology in the same individuals over time. These factors are important in their own right, but also influence and are influenced by retirement, health and well-being. Examples of specific topics within these areas that were considered in designing the study included the following. What factors in the physical and social environment, including housing, public transport and social capital, contribute to well-being and social engagement in the older population? What are the demographic, economic and health drivers of social exclusion among the old? Findings from the study, therefore, have great use in informing policy and improving the lives of older adults. The sample was drawn from participants in the Health Survey for England, or HSE, an annual cross-sectional survey that is designed to monitor the health of the general population. More than 18,000 people have taken part in the study since it started in 2002, with the sample people re-interviewed every two years. To maintain the representativeness of the sample, new participants are recruited from the Health Survey for England. These are called refreshment samples. At present, nine waves of data have been collected and available for analysis. At each wave of the study, data are collected using computer-assisted personal interviews. Study participants, on every occasion, also fill in a self-completion questionnaire. Additionally, in 2006-07, after Wave 3 main interview, a life history interview was carried out to collect retrospective information about important events that have occurred earlier on in ELSA respondents' lives and about their childhood. Initially, Every four years, we also had a nurse visit, which were completed in waves two, four, six. From wave eight onwards, a nurse visit is carried out to collect biomarkers and more detailed measures of function at every wave, on half the sample at each time. Not all interviewed people can be used for analysis. The inclusion or exclusion of members depend on a number of factors which define if respondents are asked the questions at all and whether they can be considered to be representative of the population. We generally distinguish between core and non-core members. Core members of the ELSA sample are individuals aged 50 and over living in private residences. The non-core members include, for instance, interviews with young partners, who are individuals under the age of 50 whose partners are core members, and new partners in the correct age range who entered relationships with core members after those members were recruited to ELSA. Finally, in situations when study participants have been unable to consent to an interview for themselves because of a physical, mental or cognitive disability, a proxy informant, usually a close family member or friend, has been asked to complete a short interview on the participant's behalf. The so-called proxy interview focuses mainly on key demographic information and general health status, omitting attitudinal questions that a third person is unlikely to be able to answer. As a rule of thumb, analyses which include non-core members are not representative of the English population aged 50 and over. ELSA collects a wealth of information about demographic data, employment, pension, wealth and income, and social participation, as well as a wide range of measures of health and well-being, including behavioural health, psychological well-being, cognition, and more objective measures of health such as physical performance.
Linkage to administrative records has been an important component of data collection strategy since it adds great analytical power to the study. Respondents have been asked for permission to link to official records of national insurance contributions, welfare and benefit receipt, details of any tax credits they may be claiming, hospital episode statistics, and NHS Central Register for mortality and cancer registration data. ELSA was initially designed to be directly comparable with the US Health and Retirement Study, or HRS. Since 2002, when ELSA launched, more than 25 countries in the world have initiated such comparable longitudinal studies of ageing. This forms the basis for important cross-national comparisons of the dynamics of health, socioeconomic status, retirement, and well-being among ageing populations. Such international comparisons are nowadays also facilitated by the extensive work carried out by the Gateway to Global Aging to harmonise measures in ELSA with parallel measures in other aging studies. If you think that ELSA could be a useful resource for your studies and for your research, please visit the page resources, in which you can find additional videos on how to access the data, what are the main areas of study and measures collected so far, what information is collected in the self-completion questionnaire, and in the life history interview, and during the nurse visit. You can also find information on the harmonised ageing studies on the Gateway to Global Ageing website. Thanks for your attention, and we hope you will join the community of ELSA users.